welcome to the Sherry Show. Now, I want you to grab you a cup of coffee and a donut, get back in here with us, and we're going to have some fun today. We're glad you're here with us. <laughs>
She'll answer every call Even if it's 3 a.m. Yes, I'll bet they're singing in heaven tonight They're gathered in on heaven's shining shore I know the angels are filled with delight And mom won't be alone anymore I'll bet they're singing in heaven tonight Cause Jesus just called a fire Yeah, Jesus sure called a fine one home. Whether you're in the mood for chicken strips, a delicious burger, our classic banana split, or an upside down thick blizzard treat, we've got you covered. Hot and fresh food every day, every time. And delicious DQ soft serve make the perfect pair at your favorite place. Not fast food, fan food fast. Your Blue Ridge, Ella Day, and Jasper Dairy Queens are your meet, eat, and treat headquarters. Thank you for choosing DQ, how may I serve you? The mountains are calling and they're closer than you think. Farmers Crossing in Ball Ground offers Creekside lots with homes beginning in the 400s. Walking distance to downtown shopping, dining, tennis courts, Calvin Farmer Park, and local events. It also includes a beautiful hike to Long Swamp Creek. Leave the car and the worries behind. Move in by fall 2023. Call Sherry Martin at 404-375-0590 or Evelyn Calhoun at 770-733-0779. Georgia Medical Treatment Center now has two locations to bring you the high quality holistic care you've come to know and expect. We treat neck, back, and joint pain with chiropractic care and injection-based treatment without the need for surgery or prescription painkillers. Our medical weight loss program can also provide relief while ridding your body of toxins, pounds, and inches while improving your overall health. Call today for a free consultation, 770-345-2000, or go online to georgiamtc.com. You know, how you feel on the inside yeah. is just as important to me as how you feel on the outside. Oh, Daddy. <laughs> I'm grown up, grown up, grown up, up in every way, way and every way, guarantee I'm you. Right. I'm grown up and I know you're there. I'm your grown up and you know I care. Cause it's you. So when you are okay, or not okay, I'll take care of you. Don't you think it's time to go Where black bears climb and waters flow Hummingbirds out on the deck Your feet propped up and what the heck Whether you're swimming in the sea Or splashing in the pool making a masterpiece or just making memories writing a great American novel or writing your term paper that's due tomorrow whatever you do in life Farmers is here to protect it for all your insurance needs call Donald Curtis in Blue Ridge
Now, y'all may wake up to an alarm clock, but I want to wake up to Linda Autry on the piano. So I was away from the camera because I was sitting there recording that, so I can put it on my iPhone. And every morning, instead of that little ding, 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 I get to wake up to you. Is that not awesome? <laughs> I don't know. Is that not awesome? <laughs> it that is the coolest, be, awesome thing sure. in the world. <laughs> Can y'all see I'm looking almost human again? Better. Isn't that cool? Much better. Yeah, this, Much better. this big knot up here was really getting to me. <clears throat> and tomorrow I'm going to the doctor because where my neck popped, it is still driving me crazy. And I told you, I have been up. All night long, can y'all tell I have on a little extra makeup today? I could not sleep. I couldn't even close my eyes. <clears throat> but I can tell you, law and order is on all night long. <laughs> I know that for a fact. <laughs> so, but I don't know. it is what it is. And I knew she was going to be here, and I was so excited. And <gasps> oh my I goodness. sort of thought about coming up here about 3 o'clock this morning, but I can never remember the security code and just getting over here and piling up on the couch and be asleep when you got here. And I thought, Mom, <laughs> maybe I better not do that. And as usual, my phone is laying over there ringing, so, you know, <coughs> life is what it is. Welcome to the Sherry Welcome Show. Welcome to the Sherry <laughs> Show, where it's going to be wild and crazy and fun. And today, today, I want to go back 60 years to Shake Rag, Georgia. Do you know where Shake Rag I is? I do. Yes. I do. Shake Rag, Georgia, where I learned to can, to make biscuits to um, gather crops, any crop that's coming in, whether it be poke salad or whether it be planting at, at certain times of the year or hitting those old timey pear trees, anything that's God, God's bounty, gather it, can it, freeze it, dry it, and eat it. There you go. Right? There you go. <laughs> Does that I make was, sense? I was actually raised not far from Shake Rag. I was I in Alpharetta. It was a few miles mm -hmm. away, yeah. but I'm very familiar with do you remember Parsons Department Store? Well, yeah. The only place we could yes. shop, and on Saturday it wasn't go to the mall, go to this. Mm -hmm. It was go to Parsons. Parsons. We went to Parsons, yes. and you bought your Sunday to go to meet and close. And yes. I just might add, Sunday go to meeting is a little different now. I can't get used to people going to church in blue jeans, and I guess it's fine no. if that's what you want to do. But I still kind of. I think I might overdress a little bit, but I like to dress up. And I, I like when a guy shows up in a suit. I like when you, I just like that. So maybe I, we're that generation that's a little bit. Old fashioned. Old fashioned, yeah, yeah. yeah I'm yeah. definitely old fashioned. Yeah, definitely. And and we, there were certain things our mama said, now you, you if you think you're going out of the house and that, you're wrong, little missy. Get back yeah. in there and change. Yeah. <laughs> And yeah. my dad was a preacher. Oh yes. Oh, so yes. <laughs> I was very I was raised very strict. Yeah. Oh mm -hmm. yeah. Very yeah. strict. Well, and it's you know, um, I, I got tickled because my grandmother's best friend, and this was in the mid nineteen hundreds, like nineteen twenty one, nineteen twenty two, smoked. Well, women didn't smoke, but Miss Jewel smoked. Granny didn't <laughs> smoke, granny dipped snuff and it was always running right here, you know. And and I have a picture of Miss Jewel, and she has her hand down here and a cigarette in her hand. And I'm going, oh, Miss Jewel smoked. And I was like, and I thought, well, out of respect for her, she's been dead about 30 years, I will not post that. And then I said, oh, i got to post it. <laughs> so I did. But things are different now. Things yes. are so different now. Much different. We're worried a little bit about you people who love gospel music. If you don't get this next generation interested in it, we're toast. Yes. It's going to be so bad. I'm afraid so. Yeah, at the singing Saturday night. And thank you, thank you, thank you to everybody who came out to hear Daily Bread and to raise money and raise awareness for the hospice that is nonprofit. Georgia Mountains Hospice is having a big to do, their Mardi Gras. And our um, city clerk, Miss Karen Jordan, is has been nominated to be queen. In order for her to be queen, we have to raise a lot of money. We have to raise a ton of money. So if you have any money, call me and I'll come and get it for her. But we had a really, really good night. But I did notice that everybody was our age, except those little grand youngins that they brought. Oh. And so there is hope because there were families there with grandchildren who enjoyed the music too. Mm -hmm. And then they had a little clogging going on, a little buck dancing. It wasn't clogging, it was buck dancing. 
a couple of people got up there and, and just had the best time because Derek, you good. know, what a, what a good guy. Derek's a nut. He's, he's a nut. Yeah, he he's, he's certified <laughs> a nut. Yeah. We had a, a fun time, and I might say, that boy likes my peach cobbler. Does he? He, he just nigh wallered in it. Mm, <laughs> he just peach nigh cobbler. wallered in it. We did three big peach cobblers, and it was out the door and gone. But yes, Derek liked my peach cobbler, so yeah. So yeah. you don't have any left over? Nothing, nothing, oh, not man. even scrapings, no. Oh, man. No, but we need to do something one day for you. Let's do a Linda Autry concert one night. Let's do it. Let's do that. That Let's would be so much fun. That would be I so much fun. It. Because a lot of people don't understand that, you know, gospel music, most of them have either a keyboard or a piano. But you could do a full-blown concert with nobody singing a thing. Nobody would get tired of you playing the piano. Oh, I don't know about that. They no? probably would. Oh, no, they wouldn't. <laughs> <laughs> they wouldn't either. You're so kind. There's so many people, me, and, and a lot of people I know who tried to play the piano and failed miserably. Yes. Miserably. It happens. Did you have lessons? Did you have a God-given talent? Did your mom and daddy make you learn because he was a preacher? How did, how did Ms. Lynn Daughtry come to be? I started lessons when I was seven years old. And um, from seven to 12, I just kind of went every week. Mom or one of my brothers would take me to lessons. And I have two older brothers and dad would always be working. At 12 years old, my dad was a preacher and the church where he pastored, he had several piano players and I never dreamed about playing at church. And one Wednesday night, the pianist didn't show up. Uh -oh. I guess she was sick or whatever and none of the others did either. So the guy that was the song leader looked back there at me and said, Linda, don't you play? And I'm like, sure, I can play. Yeah. I could read those notes. Yeah. And I went up there and sat down at the piano, and he says, well, let's do something easy, and let's do Amazing Grace. 12 years old. 12 years old. And I thought, I can read those notes, and I can play them. But what I hadn't learned yet was flats and sharps that you had to play on the black notes, too. And all I had done uh -oh. was play the white notes. And so I just played the white notes that was written and it ended up being in a minor key that way, and it sounded very bad. <laughs> and um, uh -oh. the, the poor people just endured it, and they just sung along with me. Uh -oh. And I thought, this has got to hurry up and end. Well, <laughs> thank goodness they only did two verses instead of all four, yeah. like most people do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We only did two verses. And, you know, <laughs> it was, it was uh, kind of strange because all the way home, Nobody said a word in the car. Uh -oh, we were just uh -oh. quiet going home yeah, that night. Yeah, yeah. And the next day was my piano lesson, and I walked in, and my teacher was so sweet, and she dealt with me on a weekly basis, bless her heart. She, bless her heart. Yeah. And she, I said, uh, look, I, I need some help. I played at church last night. And she said, you did what? Uh-oh, and you weren't ready. <laughs> I said, I played at church and I need some help. She said, what did you play? And I said, Amazing Grace. And she said, show me what you did. Oh, no. And oh, I no. showed her. I said, what am I doing wrong? That was my first day of piano lessons at 12 because wow. I wanted to be there and I wanted to learn. So from then on, from this teacher, I uh, played, took lessons till 16. I graduated from her. And then I thought I was through after the recital that night. And then my dad on the way home says, we've got you a new teacher starting next week. Oh, wow. And, and so gonna... it just kept going and rolling. So I would go to one and I would finish and then I would go to another one and finish and wow. I'd go to another one. So I've actually had about five or six different teachers over the years. So it's like education. You graduated junior high, then you went to high school, then you went to college, then you got your master's and you got your doctorate so I guess. I'm going to declare she's a doctorate of <laughs> Ooh, the piano. Oh, never thought about <laughs> that. Dr. Linda Autry, <laughs> Thank there you, you go. If I love that. If anybody's a doctor of the piano, Linda Autry I love Autry that. Is. I she love is. that. Now, last time you were here, you had just come back from being at the Opry with some amazing gentlemen. I and did. I can just say, I love them all, but Jimmy Fortune.
They are all oh incredible. Gosh, amazing. How did they come together? Just as friends? Is that how that little thing happened? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, Bill Gaither was uh, involved in it, and then him and Ben Isaacs had been talking, mm -hmm. I think, and Ben knew Jimmy Fortune, Mike Rogers, and Bradley Walker, and he decided, let's put just put this together and see how it sounds, and it worked. It was and amazing. They yeah. are the hottest thing out there now. Yeah. Uh, I think they've got about 10 or 12 shows booked for this year, and they will probably all be sold out once they get there. Are they going to be anywhere near Georgia? No. No, of course not. Of no. course not. Well, I'll tell you who's going to be near Georgia, but I don't have the list with me, but y'all can go to Everett's Music Barn because this year, Everett's Music Barn, which is in Shake Rag, which no longer exists now, do they call it Johns Creek now? Yeah. Yeah, that is so sad that they did that. Yeah. We used to go to Versanoa Farms and spend summer, and that's where I learned to do all this canning and peaches and all this stuff that I still love today. But Shake Rag, truly, um, it was during the time that the Florida Boys were doing the Jubilee and, and the inspirations were 14-year-old Archie Watkins mm -hmm. and this kind of stuff that Everett's Music Barn started. Well, Everett's Music Barn is about uh, maybe as big as this studio probably. for all of it. Yeah, probably. Just a small building, but some of the greatest talent ever has hit that little bitty stage. And I went there as a 13-year-old kid, but I went back there for Barry Scott and Second Wind's concert on his 40th birthday. Mm -hmm. And when he said, we're going to be at Everett's Music Barn, I didn't remember that I'd been there at 13, and then I walked in, and I looked at the lady, and I said, has this been here a long time? She said, yeah. I said, I was here with Winnell Blackwell when I was 13 years old. She said, the year we opened. And that? I thought, isn't that the weirdest thing? It's still sitting right off all the major thoroughfares in Johns Creek. And they took away the Shake Rag address. I oh. don't know why they did that. <clears throat> That's silly. It was Shake Rag for 100 years. So I don't know. What did they do that for? I don't know. Cityfied. You got to talk right? to somebody smarter than me. <laughs> it's crazy. It's crazy. But um, Small Town America still exists, and Ball Ground is an example of Small Town America growing because at the concert the other night, I saw a lot of faces I knew, a lot of faces I hadn't seen in a while, and then some new faces. And the new faces are coming into Ball Ground because we're a small town, mm -hmm. and they love that walkability to town. They love hey, how you doing, uh, how's your mom them, and, and how do you make potato salad? Everybody <laughs> likes sharing mm. stuff, you know. And, and we've got some photos we want to share from Saturday night. And I will just tell you, we were celebrating Jenny Byer's birthday also. And Miss Jenny is 65 again and again and again okay. and again and again and again and again and again. And she doesn't look it. So Miss Jenny celebrated her birthday. Miss Sally Eubank celebrated her birthday. And there's Miss Dinah and uh, grandson Landon. And he won a wrestling championship. And she was really, really proud of that. So Aww. that is so cool. Dinah is my cousin. And we all have something in common. We love to can. We love to preserve. But none of us learned enough from our mamas and our grannies to give lessons so we call each other and say now how do you do this and how do you do that and how do you do i don't know how you do that we should have asked mama more <laughs> we should have asked more questions so and this is earl darby we know and love him very very much and he is being honored for the things he does for the police department in canton he is a giver 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 to the community and as always we should back the blue and if you're not back in the blue then shame on you shame on you We've got an administration that's not backing anything except an open border. So that's all I'm going to say about that, or I'm going to get to fussing and cussing. And these are many thanks to the following who helped with the event. Wilkes Meat, it was fantastic. Jill's Bakery, the Shell Gas Station, Williamson Barbecue, uh, Days Printing, they were amazing. Chevron, both the Chevrons. Thank you to everybody who came out and helped care and raise money. We need to raise more. We haven't hit the goal we want to hit yet. So y'all just pick up the phone. Call me if you've got a dollar, two dollars, three dollars, four dollars. I don't care what you got. We will take it and donate it to Georgia Mountain Hospice. 
And this is our second house in Malone's Pond to go under contract. The third one should hit the uh, contract tomorrow. It is going to happen walking distance to downtown ball ground. It is so very, very excited and people are loving coming to this small town. It's across the street from Calvin Farmer Park. It is amazing and, um, and that is my Winnell Blackwell shake rag breakfast. That's my granny's plate and that's tenderloin and biscuit and gravy and musky down jelly just like I remember Winnell doing it in shake rag. And I can remember the first day I got there, I thought, Lord have mercy, this is at the end of the earth because it was down a dirt road. <laughs> That's good eating right there. That was good. <laughs> that was good eating. That was good eating. They had pork loin on sale. There you go. Oh at Ingalls. My. And I bought this whole pork loin. Mm -hmm. And it was like $12.38. I was so excited. I about shouted. I was yes. like, oh, my gosh. And there's the peach cobbler from Saturday night. And uh, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And she was um, a banker, the local banker, for over 40 years. And there it is as we celebrate her birthday. Yay! And we just want to say she's precious. She is precious, precious. Beautiful lady. Love her, love her, love her. You talk about somebody who gives and gives and gives and gives. Mm. And that, now talk about giving. There were so many women who brought amazing, amazing desserts. And I say the winner of the night was whoever made that right there. What is that? That is a cream cheese pecan pound cake. Oh, and I'm yum. telling you, that, them's fighting words. If you got a bite of that, you got something really, really good. Mm. If you didn't get a bite, smack yourself. You should have bought four or five pieces of it. It was, it was to die for. <laughs> now that thing was good. I only ate one piece, but I could have eaten 12. <laughs> but I ate one. And I uh, bet it was all gone quick. It was so good. Yeah, and everybody loved it. And uh, to everybody who contributed in any way, thank you very, very much. I know Karen appreciated it. That cake, they bit off that cake. I can't remember. Uh, I think Brenda Jordan made that. I believe that's right. And this is Malone's Pond this morning as the sun was rising. And uh, what a beautiful, beautiful day. Evelyn did a great job with the pictures. And uh, it's just beautiful, absolutely beautiful. Malone's Pond is coming together. The sun is coming up. And it is just gorgeous. And we hope that you will come and get to know it. Now, here's Everett's Music Barn. And that's not the date that they're having the big to-do. But they are having a big to-do at Everett's Music Barn. And if you'll just Google that or look at their Facebook page, they do have a Facebook page. If you like the old traditional music and you remember those banjos and those pickers and those grinners, you will want to be at Everett's Music Barn for their 60th anniversary, 60 years of opening the stage to a lot of folks. So it was it was really a really, really good weekend. And um, I'm very thankful that my eye is healing. It's, it's looking better. much better. Yeah, if I can just get my neck to quit doing this, it's, oh man. That was very dangerous. It oh. was, yeah, they told me, they said, you hit the worst thing you could have possibly hit because that wood just bounces back at you. And boy, did it. Um, it's been, I think it'll be three weeks Wednesday and I'm still feeling the effects, but it's okay. I've got still having some headaches and I, I, I laughed because I just I remember laying there thinking okay am I dead and then I looked around I said no I'm not but I'm wondering <laughs> should I move or should I lay still and it was so dang cold outside I didn't have a choice I had to move or freeze to death so so I moved and then I thought they always say don't move if you think it's hurt your neck and I heard my neck pop when I hit, and I thought, Lord have mercy. But I'm here. I'm here. Good. I'm not going roller skating Good. many times soon, but Good. I'm here. Good. We're glad I'm you're here. here. I'm here. I'm We're here. We're glad you're here. I'm here. And getting better. Yes, getting better. We're glad you're here today, too. Yes, we are glad everybody's joining us. And, you know, we I think we need to um, ask for a special prayer for everybody to put anybody who is fighting dementia and Alzheimer's on your prayer list because we have mutual friends who are battling that. I yes. have friends who are much younger than me who are battling that. Yes. And it is that disease that steals our loved ones from us before they leave here. Yes. You know? Yes. It steals them often 
15 years before. Sometimes it's quickly and it's only two years. Mm -hmm. but, but every single day you hear of somebody else who is battling Alzheimer's, uh, diagnosed with dementia, ending up in memory care, mm -hmm. and, and then you, you just, how did that happen? Because we have a friend who, um, she played the piano, like mm -hmm. you, except she did opera. She was diagnosed with dementia. It was Bill Senyard's aunt. Okay. And yes. she was sitting over here playing the piano, and she would forget what she was playing. Oh, that's And hard. Um, one day on the way to the studio to do the show, she forgot how to get here, and she ended up in North Carolina. So wow. she didn't realize that it had spiraled and was rolling really, really fast. And, and then Bill's mother also came down with it. Out of all those, I think there were 12 kids, maybe nine have, mm -hmm. have battled that. And um, we talk about it often, is it our environment? Is it our heredity? Is it, um, what did the doctor tell my husband about his cancer? It's the luck of the draw. What is it? What is it, Linda, that's taken, taken our loved ones with Alzheimer's? What I is don't it? know. Have you had any family members have it? My dad passed away with it. My husband's mother passed away with it. Wow. And as of right this minute, I have a sister-in-law who's battling it. Wow. And it's, um, it's, it's a terrible disease, but I know that when my dad had it, the doctor, I was just in tears. and. The doctor looked at me and he said, now, Linda, you have just got to calm down because you're the one that's got to keep your head on straight right now. And he looked at me and he said, keep in mind, this is really bad. However, they're not in pain. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. They're not in pain and they're right and you're wrong. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And you can't change their mind, so don't right. try to change their mind. Right. Just change the subject. Yes. And I, so have, smart. I have never forgotten yeah. those words that he told me, and yeah. it works, and it wow. works. Wow, I remember a preacher from Jasper who had never cussed in his life, and when he got it, oh my. You heard it all. And it was so embarrassing, and, and mm -hmm. his poor wife was so, you know. Embarrassed. And there's nothing you can do about it. Not and, a thing. and they do it at the craziest times, and mm -hmm. you're like, ooh, ooh, okay, you know. They do a complete reversal. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's so crazy. And, and um, my aunts who got it were in their late 80s and 90s mm -hmm. when they were diagnosed. Mm -hmm. And two out of eight kids had it, but they were, it was much older. And, and then the others, several of them had pancreatic cancer, and they all dipped snuff. And so I attributed that to the pancreatic cancer, and I don't know if that had anything to do with it. I don't know. You know, because I don't smoke, never smoked, never dipped, never did any of that stuff, can't stand the smell of any of it. But, mm -hmm. but when we look at what, what is doing it to us, is it because we lived with lead-based paint? Is it because we had um, asbestos around us everywhere? I don't know. You know? We don't know, and, and sadly, it's kind of like cancer. I think that cancer has been cured somewhere in the lab, and I think, this is my opinion, and only my opinion, that because of the money cancer makes, they're never gonna cure it. Bingo. Bingo, it's all about the money. Mm -hmm. It's all about the money. I truly believe that. And with Alzheimer's, there has to be a medicine, but they said basically your brain shrinks, and. And I meant to bring my, my report from this hit because there's a place in my head that's like this big that's a blood, um, what'd they call it? Anyway, <laughs> I can't remember what they called it. It wasn't a clot, it was something else. But, but it scared me because I thought, you're messing with your brain. And so when you take a hit like I hit, does that bring on Alzheimer's? Is there something that brings on, you know, you wonder what starts it, what does it? A fall can cause lots of problems, and I think after a fall, especially one as dangerous that you took, you really need to stay on top of your medical right. information mm -hmm. and always make sure that your doctor knows about this yeah, fall because yeah. this was bad. Yeah. This, well, and, you know, we're thankful that she's here today and I we love her, her. Yeah, but her. it could have really been a it lot worse. Been bad. And it, I'm so thankful because yeah. honestly, I was laying there like this and I could see the blood and it was kind of, and I was like, where is the blood coming from? Because I couldn't really tell. 
And then I was afraid to move. And yeah. then I'm thinking, I'm freezing, I'm freezing, it's so cold out here. But, but I'm so thankful. So if you're like me and you have fallen a time and it brought the fear of God in you, we just need to be more cautious, more careful. I was trying to get inside because it was cold yes. and I was in a hurry. Slow down. We're always take in Take it hurry. easy. Slow mm -hmm. down, take it easy. We're always in Just slow hurry. down, take it easy. Mm -hmm. And be cautious. And I know when I carry stuff and it gets heavy and it's out of balance, that's stupid. Carry fewer things at a time. You know, Amen, don't sister. do something that makes <laughs> your balance. Yeah. Because you will fall. And we're preaching to the crowd today, yeah, too. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> we're all so guilty of that. Yeah, yeah. Well, I talked to an 89 year old yesterday who said he fell out there feeding the chickens. And he said, I landed fly. Oh, I said, been there, done that. We just have to be careful. You know, we have to be careful because like Ron Singleton telling me that his mom, it broke her neck. You know, you're like, holy cow, how lucky, how blessed I was. Mm -hmm. So evidently God's not through with me. Do you Absolutely think he has some not. more lessons? <laughs> well, I think he's got a plan for you. I think so, I think so. And we're just gonna pray for good health for you. Yep, 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 it's gonna be good. We're it's gonna, gonna pray to keep her on her two feet flat. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. And I'm even more cautious about the kind of shoes I wear now. You know, because yes. I'm like, mm -hmm. just, you know, stable. And, and, and I was just in a hurry. It was cold. It was cold. And I almost said a bad word. <laughs> you <laughs> know, <was> yesterday <laughs> it was kind of rainy. We live in Canton. And our garage was, um, I don't know what it's called. It was wet. But I, I guess the uh, humid, uh, humidity or something. Uh -huh. It was wet all over, and my husband says, be careful when you go out today. We were going to church. He says, what kind of shoes have you got on? Because yeah. you could slip and fall real easy. Yeah. And people don't realize that. Oh, yeah. But oh, that's yeah. important stuff. You, yeah. When you get to our age, that's yeah. really important it stuff. It is important <laughs> stuff. It is important stuff. Well, we are going to take a short break, and when we come back, she's going back over there to do what she does best. Because we could talk for days, but... She's here to play the piano, and so we're going to send Miss Linda Autry back to the piano, and I'm going to go over there and sit there in the rocking chair and enjoy it, too. Aww. So y'all hang around, and uh, we're going to go to a little bit of music by Dwight while we get set up, and we're going to move her over there, and here we go. <laughs> Up needs repair. The LP tanks on zero, and my wheel is almost there. The hope I had left with you when you walked out the door. I would say things can't get worse, but I've been Thank you. 
a message on my phone I called in to talk to him To see what's going on They're laying off across the plant Employees by the score I would say things can't get worse But I've been wrong before
sister Don't you think it's time to go Where black bears climb and waters flow Hummingbirds out on the deck Your feet propped up and what the hell Whether you're swimming in the sea or splashing in the pool, making a masterpiece, or just making memories, writing a great American novel, or writing your term paper that's due tomorrow, whatever you do in life, Farmers is here to protect it. For all your insurance needs, call Donald Curtis in Blue Ridge. going out on a limb you got two old gray conservative christian women here who are going to remind you the election can be carried by your votes and we would love for you to vote (laughs) we have have to tell them how we vote you know how we vote we're conservative christian old ladies (laughs) you know how we vote old-fashioned old ladies old-fashioned old ladies (laughs) vote your conscience get out and vote do your part to support your candidate and support those who are going to save America. Now, I had something I was going to share with you all today, and I forgot to give it to uh, the guys to put up. Last week, when we were talking with Ralph Barker, we found out about a memorial to the unborn children who were aborted in America. This is in Chattanooga, Tennessee. Just Google it, Memorial to Unborn Children. If you can go through that, go to that, and not leave there in tears, then there's something wrong with you. You must have a, a, a Brillo pad for a brain and no soul and no heart because this is amazing. It was an abortion clinic that was torn down, destroyed that property, built a new building, and it is a tribute and a memorial to all the children who were taken there. Wow. And the moms and the dads who later had regrets for doing that, went in and wrote notes to their unborn children. And you can read, you can see, you can find out their stories, and they're doing a tribute to it. Um, The representative from Tennessee, Marsha Blackburn, is going to be speaking, I think she was speaking yesterday, about this and about this event and how important it is. And it's like the 30th anniversary of it. And how many people have gone through this place. And and just reading the stuff, I was like, ooh, sobbing. So if you are thinking, how am I going to vote this year? Well, find one of us and ask us how you need to vote. And we'll tell you. (laughs) Will we give our opinion? Maybe. Maybe. (laughs) Maybe. Maybe. I hope that today has been a positive day for you. I hope that that music start your day just feeling good if you listen to that and you don't feel good sugar call the doctor (laughs) call the doctor because that is just that's like medicine it's just like laughter it's it's such a great medicine that music is amazing do you have any idea how many souls you've blessed in your lifetime of doing that I hope a lot. A lot. I hope. A lot. And 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 maybe turned a dreary day into a beautiful, wonderful day. And today, thank you, God, for this beautiful sunshine we have. Yes, it's beautiful. Wasn't that wonderful? Yeah, it was so nice to you're looking and going, What is that? That's the sunshine. Yay. Mm -hmm. Yay. Get out and enjoy today. Yes. Get out and do something for somebody else. Just something simple. You know, just do a little something. Maybe you have a neighbor who uh, you know doesn't like to get out and go to the store when it's cold weather. A lot of us don't. A lot of folks would like to stay at home in their jammers if they could, you know. <laughs> yeah, because cold weather's just not fun. But if you are out and about, maybe stop and get lunch and drop it off to somebody who's oh. not going to be getting out. Do something yeah. for somebody else, just a little something. Yeah. And it'll bless you. It'll bless you. And yeah. um, it will come back to you over and over and over. Now, this week, we hope that Miss Martha is going to be sitting right here next to me. She is 90 years old. 
She is still working at 90 years old, and she's about to celebrate her birthday. So we want to do that with her this week. Yay. And then we're going to be talking about a singing that's going to happen again up in Ducktown at the old school. Last year when they did it, they had 500 people show up, which is pretty awesome. That is great. See, gospel music's not dead. It's, it's not, not dead. dead. It's but not we dead. Got to, we got to support it. We've got to support it, and mm -hmm. we have to keep it going. Mm -hmm. Oh, I wonder if they have a piano there. Wouldn't it be wonderful to have you there? Aww. Oh, <laughs> let me see what I can do. Let me see if you're available. Let's see what we can do. <laughs> this, this, is, this is an old school, y'all. Everybody knows the history of the old Ducktown School. It's been sitting there forever. And they're revitalizing it. And they're bringing it back. And they're doing concerts. And they're bringing that good gospel music. <gasps> And there's nothing any better than Linda Autry on the piano. Oh, so I just need to you. I just need to figure this out. I need to find out if there's a piano there. If there's not, do you have a keyboard? I do have a keyboard. Well, I'll be darned. I'd rather have a big old pretty <laughs> piano, but you know, we'll settle for whatever we can get. But it is about supporting the things that remind us, preserving the past and embracing the future. Mm -hmm. Please don't forget the good things of the past. Don't forget your can and don't forget the things your granny taught you. Don't forget the times your mama scolded you. My mama used to make me eat spinach all the time, and I hated spinach. And she'd say, it's going to turn your cheeks green. And I said, I mean, she said, it's good for you. It's going to add color. And I said, who wants green cheeks? And I got smacked because <laughs> my mama smacked me. And I was like, oh, that wasn't very nice. But remember those old days. Let's go back to the olden days, and let's remember some cool, good stuff. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. And let's remember everybody who's battling Alzheimer's and everybody who is a little touch of dementia because it could happen to anybody. It yes. could happen to anybody. So yes. say a prayer for those that are hurting. And if you know of somebody who's in an abusive situation, um, please reach out to help. I saw something Saturday night, and I'm a little bit mad at myself because I didn't stop and do anything about it. And I've stressed about it for a couple of days because two children were involved and they were screaming, cussing, fighting mm -hmm. in front of these babies and it just broke my heart. So um, try to make a difference in the world. Today, be that person that makes a difference in somebody's life. Thank mm -hmm. you so much for getting up early and being here. Thank you for thank having you, me. You, it was you. my pleasure. Yay. It's and Linda Autry Day. <laughs> the folks at ETC, we thank the guys that are over in these um, audio well, video, audio booth, whatever. Yeah, yeah. Uh, without them, we could do don't, it. <laughs> this don't happen without them. So we That's want right. to thank him. But I want to personally thank Sherry for what she does. And you know what? If you're a member of this community and for this uh, ETC that you have their service, send her a note, send her a text, write her a letter, call her, call the station. Just leave a, I appreciate you, I watch you, and I want to pray for you that your blessings will continue with the show. And I think that she deserves a round of applause. I'm the only one in the studio, <laughs> but... Um, You're a mess. Yeah, you know, she Thank deserves you. a round of Thank applause you. for doing Thank this. You. She got up early this morning to come to come do this for you. So we appreciate you too Thank as you. well, Thank Sherry. You. Thank you for having I me. Love you. I love you. I love you. We'll see you again soon, y'all. And remember, this goes straight to YouTube as soon as the guys get it up there. So you will be able to get lots of Linda Autry. I'll see you again soon. Bye.